Hello, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about if you need to learn German, to live in Germany. As you guys know, I'm living in Germany since more than eight years, almost eight years, I guess. And today we're going to be talking about my experiences, if Germany is really necessary to live in Germany or what happens if you learn German or what happens if you don't learn German, how it will affect your life. It can be either professionally or it can be either your daily life but we're gonna be talking about those. So let's get jump into it. Let's just jump into it guys on three, two, one. So first of all, I think the most important thing is what are you really looking for? So will you be living in Germany only for short term or will you live in Germany in your entire life? It depends what type of thing you really want from Germany. For example, in my case, I was a student. I came here as a student and my education language was English. I actually had just A1 certificate. And A1 certificate is the, the, the first certificate you can get. So if you are there just as student and if you don't want to live in Germany in your entire life, then I think it should be fine. You can survive with a little bit German knowledge. But I think if you want to live in Germany in your entire life and if you decide to work in here after you graduated or maybe you want to come to Germany as, uh, as an employer, then things can change a little bit because the paperwork is, the bureaucracy is a lot in Germany. So you cannot imagine how many papers I am getting in one month. It is like I have a whole wardrobe with papers and I don't know how to handle those. So you are going to get so many papers and you have to translate them every time. Either you have to find a person to translate them or you have to translate them by yourself. I think if you want to be independent person, I think it is always good to learn German if you are living in Germany. And of course, if you want to be a social person, if you want to make some German friends or even in a market or something, if you, you want to talk to a person or ask something, of course, you need to learn German. Again, it depends what you are looking for. If you say, okay, I don't want to be a social person, I'm not a social person, you can still survive with a little bit of German knowledge. I think B1 knowledge should be fine to really survive, like order things and buy stuff, explain yourself. And I think once you learn B1, it just suddenly happens, like you immediately improve yourself to B2. C1, I guess. Next thing is some people they don't know English or they don't feel they are confident when they speak in English. So that's why they don't want to speak in English. This can be sometimes misunderstood, but I think in reality, they just don't feel confident with their English and that's why they cannot really talk English. That's the problem. And this will cause a problem because whenever you start to speak English and you try to explain something or may maybe you have some issues and this will cause a problem because you cannot really explain yourself. You can, of course, ask a friend. Normally, the student doesn't know German. They always ask a German friend or so. People are always helping. That is for sure. But the thing is, then you are going to be depending on this person. Person. Maybe if this person doesn't have time to help you at that time, then you have to either find another person or you have to wait for this person. And if you are okay with this, I think it should be fine. If you have your friends with your mother tongue, they will always want to speak in their mother tongue. And for Germans, it is also the same. It's easier for them. Like if I have my Turkish friends, I will speak in Turkish with them. Of course, I will not try to speak in German with them because Turkish is easier for us. That's why if you have like a bunch of German people around you, they will not switch the language to English because maybe you don't know German. They might switch it, but not always, right? Maybe sometimes they can switch, but the conversation will suddenly change to to German again. And if you don't understand, you'll be like, okay, I don't understand anything then what now? That's why if you want to be included into German community or if you want to always understand what is going on around you, then you should basically learn. But you can always ask them to switch the language. Hey, I don't understand. Can you please explain what's going on? And someone will definitely explain you. But just being in the moment, right? So you cannot really be in the moment. Also from the professional point of view, like for example, I am working in a company, the company language is in English, but I am working in Germany. So even though it is in English, sometimes the person starts to speak in German. And if you don't understand, then you will be like, you know what, I don't understand. Mm, I don't know. Then maybe you cannot really ask in that moment because the, 
there's a really a big conversation going on and you're trying to understand it. I mean, sometimes, even though if you're working in English, since we are living in Germany, some people, they basically start talking in German and this is completely normal. If you don't understand German, you will miss the conversation, basically. You cannot really follow it. Of course, if you tell them like, hey, I don't understand it, can you please explain me? Then they will explain it to you. But if you already knew German, it will be like immediately you will understand what is going on and everything will be fine. So you just need to know that there will be something like that, even though if you work in English, people will start talking in German suddenly and you may not understand what is going on. Other than that, if you don't know German and don't, don't know the rules, for example, there are always this type of people in every country because they think you are foreigners and, and you don't know your rights. That's why they might try to cheat you maybe somehow. For example, when I was trying to get my deposit from my last flat, the homeowner didn't really want to give it back. So I went to the court and I won it. And via that way, I got my, my money back, basically. So if you don't know your rights, if you cannot really explain yourself, it's a little bit difficult, but you can always ask people and then you can basically find a way always. It is just depending on what you're looking for, what is your personality, how long you want to live in Germany and if you can really survive without German. It is just depending on your situation. You have to decide it by yourself. That's from my side. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like and you're so nice. So I'm gonna go to swimming pool now. I hope you liked the video and I see you guys on my next video on Tuesday. Ciao!